so in this section we are going to implement the react native navigations so for example if i click any of this course right i want to jump to the next page right and that is nothing but a navigation so navigating from one page to another page so for that one we are going to use this react navigation so react navigation is one of the best library in the market and it is fully supportable to the expo and the react native apps okay so uh i i drop a link of this react native to um url uh, in the description so you can go and check it out so let's go to the documentation of this one and here first of all you need to install this dependency so copy this dependency go to your project and execute it then if you go back here right uh if you are using the expo right then you have to install this additional uh dependency and if you are using the bare react native you have to install this one right depends on your operating system you can choose in uh, npm or this yarn okay so let's execute this another one as well and after that this rake navigation provide a different types of navigation so for example the stack navigation or the tab navigation if you know about the tab okay so in this example we are going to using the stack navigation because uh, we are jumping from one screen to another and it's completely a stack uh, stack base okay so go to this hello react navigation so here in this particular uh, page it explain how to use this particular stack navigation okay so after installing to this two dependency you have to install this stack navigation as well so execute this line of command and then uh, here is the example uh, that how to use this stack navigation okay so in our example or in our um, app right uh, on the click of any of this course we have to uh, display this course detail page right and which contain the course content and everything so let's create a page for this our uh, course details so let's go to the page section right and here i will create a new page so in this case we have to go to the on uh, pages folder okay and here i will create new page called course detail so let's call course details dot js So here uh, we will add the custom uh, react native function so just type rnf and it will create a course detail right and save it now in order to add the navigation right we will keep all of the navigations uh, files in one folder so in the app folder we will create a new folder called navigation and inside this navigation we create a new folder called home navigation js so whatever the navigation we are doing from the uh, home page we will add it in the home navigation dot js okay and uh, here we have to add the default uh, react native function okay so we added this function so if you see this example right uh, first of all we need to add one constant and this is the uh, create navigation the object we are creating right so make sure you copy this one and uh, just use this one over here okay and make sure you will import this create navigate uh, stack navigator okay so if you see this statement you need to import it so then if you see this example right it explain how to use it right so first of all uh, we will remove this code and we will add the stack dot navigator okay so this stack is coming from this const, uh, constant uh, stack object and then we added this navigator from it and inside that we can uh, display the screen which you want to display right so in this case a stack dot screen okay. and then i will close this tag inside this you have to define the component if you see this example right we have to define the which component do you want to uh, use for the particular uh, navigation right so first of all we will define the component so component will be your home in this case okay and the name of the component so for this navigation what name do you want to give so in this case i will give home and save it okay. another thing uh, we will add one more uh, screen here so the other screen is our course detail right so i will write course detail like this and the component name will be a course details and save it now it will not work until and unless you have to specify in, a, in our app.js file 
so you know i go to the app.js right and this navigation you have to wrap it in the um, navigator container so if you see this right the navigation container inside that we added this tag navigator correct now we created for our home screen so i will just put this tag navigator uh, sorry the navy uh the navigation container around the home screen right so here i will see i will um, put it like this so navigation container right and inside this navig navigation container we will add our home navigation right and here we don't need to specify this home here okay so the reason is uh, let me uh, save this one and let's see whether we are getting the correct result or not okay so we got one error let's see what's the error here let me give this down so it's saying so, so it's in encounter while trying to resolve the module react native context because we introduced uh, added a new um, library right new um, dependency so let's uh, rebuild this project okay so i will stop this project and i will rebuild it and now if you see we are able to go to this our home screen right and we are not using this uh, particular home component directly in app.js instead that we are using our cu um, custom home navigation uh, uh, library uh, so com the component which contain the uh, navigation for the home screen right uh, also if you see right when we add the navigation you will see this home uh, the top bar right and it automatically get added when you added the any navigation to the screen so in order to remove this one right so let's go skip this one and let's go back to the home navigation okay here you can define whether do you want this particular uh, header or not so you can get screen options and inside that you can write header shown be false okay and let's save this one and if you see we remove the header for all the screens okay so this is the first step now we able to successfully create the navigation for our home screen right now how to jump from this particular page to another page on the click of this uh, course right now for that one go to the course list and here we will add the on click uh, on press function right so in order to do that right if you remember for button we added the uh, touchable opacity right so we will add it uh, we re replace the view with the touchable opacity because it has a function that we need it right so for the properties on press event right and on the press event we will jump to the another page so here uh, i will write one fun method first okay and just write method constant on press course i will write it okay, like this and here i will pass the course information okay that particular course information and this course information i will pass it so and just call this particular method from here on press course and here i will pass the item so item contains the all the course information just the selected course okay and if i want to print here console dot log course course and save it now if you go back to the uh, console right and if i click on this one you will see this particular id and the the one which we selected the basic python correct now how to jump to the another page so first of all you have to define one um uh, hook right which is called the navigation is equal to so i i define the constant navigation and here you have to use navigation okay and make sure once you use this uh, make sure to import that one okay and here you have to just define that one so you can write navigation dot navigate okay and where you want to navigate so in this case we want to navigate to the course details so course details this name should match the name which we gave in our uh, navigation right so in this case we gave the name, uh, name for the course detail page is course dash detail 
make sure it's matching with this one right and then i save it if i save it if i click on this one for example right and if you see it jumped to the course detail page right the name is uh, at the top but if you see it's showing here right now to pass this data from um, our previous page right let's go back to a previous page and if i pass some data from this page to this page you have to just define like this so here after give the comma and inside this curly braces you have to define the uh, the data which you want so in this case i will write course data and the pass the, in, the information which you want to send so in this case the course okay the selected course so i will remove this console and you can access it in the uh, course detail page by using this word course data okay first of all i will save it okay now once you pass this data right you can accept uh, this particular information over here so in order to accept this uh, the the data which you seen from the previous page you can do like this constant you can say param is equal to use route okay like this dot you can add the params so from params you will get this particular information if you want to print it right you can print like this use effect and like this okay you will console the information so here i will say course just write param that's fine okay and here i will console this password of param value so just console this one okay. and save it now, right now we don't have anything if i click on it right you will see this data right and we just printed out and this is our data okay and it's coming from this course detail page from the use effect which we console it right now you can uh right now if you see right this one so inside the object we have another object called course data so you can access this course data by using param dot course data that's it okay the one which we give name here right so same name you have to uh, give in order to access the only the object which we need it right and then that object we can save you know one step so in this case i will write like this course set course is equal to use okay. and i will just set the course over here using this value okay. and i will remove this one i will save everything and now in this course we have this course information which is we are getting from the previous page now the, you you might have the question why we are sending the uh, data from previous page to another page the reason is right you can also uh, load the data on this page depends on the id but we already have the, all the data in the previous page right so in order to avoid that uh, loading and making the extra api call we are sending the existing data to the next page so that we can use it right so i hope you understand the uh, react navigation how to use it how to install the dependency and how to write the navigation for the um, particular page okay and depends on that you can uh, use it